All right, today we're going to be talking about equipment. I have two pieces of equipment I'd like to show you, talk a little bit about. Um, one of them is a uh, MIG welder, and the other one is a plasma cutter. Uh, two pretty useful pieces of equipment if you want to do uh, metal, any kind of metal, anything. So today we've got this uh, 3 inch, 1 8 inch by 10 foot long piece of metal. What we're going to try to do is we're going to uh, use our plasma cutter instead of our drill press to uh, drill several holes the length of this thing. Uh, we need to you know, do some pretty precise holes but it's kind of an experiment. Um, we know a drill press would work just fine but I was going to see if this uh, plasma cutter can do an easier uh, cleaner job. Um, we'll see. Alright, so here's the idea. The three inch piece is going to ride down the center of this. We're going to space these at three inches across. I think you can see three inches across. And then we're going to cut a hole in the middle of all this stuff. And that is where we're going to basically uh, put the plasma gun. We're going to flip it over and put a hole through the whole thing and uh, then we're going to use it as a template and slide it down uh, back and forth across the three foot uh, th three inch ten foot long piece of uh, steel cutting holes along its length um, that's the idea right now we'll see if it works so our template has to compensate for the um, tip size I measured the tip size. It's about um, 7 sixteenths. So the bolts, these bolts that we have are 5 sixteenths. So uh, doing some calcs, drawing it out. So the middle here is 5 sixteenths. The outer ring is the compensation half of, this is half of 7 sixteenths. So we need a hole that is probably about 7 eighths in size. I, uh, my drill bits run out at uh, one half. So what we're going to do is we're just going to see how we can uh, how we can do. We're going to draw it with a with a pencil. We're going to draw a 7 8 inch hole and we're going to try to plasma cut it by hand and see how that goes. So uh, just like that, I think we need to clean it up a little bit, but there's our template. It's got a hole in it that uh, we can use to run our, to run our Dremel around and, and give us a 5 8 inch hole. 5 16 inch anyway. So now that we're done with that, we have fairly decent hole. Um, we'll use it now to uh, with the plasma cutter to see if we can get a good a good cut for a bolt hole. So essentially what we're going to do now is we're going to use this uh, this plate that we've created as a template and we're just going to insert this guy and run it around the outside and try to cut uh, cut some 5 16 um, bolt holes. Alright that worked pretty well. Uh, I mean, you know, it beats a drill in them, and uh, all I need to do is secure the sheet to the, uh, secure that thing, the long 33 inch strip. So now I'm going to make the real template. Alright, those were our test pieces. Um, I uh, didn't like the hole. I redid it. Got a better hole. Anyway, um, now the next thing is to uh, weld these plates on. Three inch gap there. And then we should be able to uh, use it as a template for drilling. Well, not drilling, but uh, cutting holes on that three inch piece. Alright, so this is our, our final product. 
This is the original hole. Calculations were not right, so I redid it. It's a little smaller hole, smaller hole yet. Essentially, when you get this guy done, you'll create a, a little hole like this that you can stick your bolt through. Pretty simple. Um, but uh, we'll, it took us a little while to make this, but it will save us a lot of time. So we have to drill like, uh, I don't know, 10, 20 holes. And that's probably upward 30 holes. So this is the setup. Basically we have the template here. We're going to take the um, plasma torch, stick it in that hole, run it around, cut a perfect hole. Let's see, uh, let's see how we do. smelly. Alright, so um, here we have the finished rail that we use, that we cut um, cut holes on, uh, 5 16 inch holes with the plasma cutter. Um, we then went back and used that same template to actually drill these little holes, but um, I think all of these came out pretty nice. They don't have to be uh, uh, really precise because it's just going to hang on the side of the uh, plasma cutter table. So uh, it worked well. So we'll keep that as a technique.